In this segment, we're going to talk about the Properties window. The Properties window is the seventh button in the group of buttons across the top title bar. The Properties window is important because two things happen in Properties. Any kind of scheduling of content happens in Properties, as well as any kind of customization of our template content happens in Properties. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my image content here in my media library. I'm just going to click on the first image that I have here. And it pops it up here in Properties. Now I can see the thumbnail and to ensure that it matches. I can also tell that this is a piece of image content because I have a camera icon. If it were a video, there would be a film reel icon or a piece of uh, image con or template content would have a template icon as well. I can see the name of the piece of content. I can see who uploaded the piece of content and when they uploaded that piece of content. I can change the name if I wanted to. I could add a description if I wanted to as well. Beneath the description, I have the ability to alter the duration. Now, if you notice, the duration is automatically set by having it checked here, and you can see it's set for 10 seconds. The breakdown is hours, minutes, and seconds. And so by default, the content is set for 10 seconds. Now, with an image, it's important for you to know that the system will automatically place a duration of 10 seconds for any image content that's being uploaded. Because an image doesn't change over time, it knows that if it doesn't set a duration, that image would appear on screen forever until someone deleted it or set a duration on it. So by default, every piece of image content has a duration of 10 seconds automatically set by the, the system. Now you can increase it or decrease it, decrease it if you like by clicking the handlebars up and down and it will increase that or decrease that time. Now the piece of video content, typically no duration will be set for that because the system knows to play a video from the beginning all the way to the end, no matter how long it is, whether it's 45 seconds or 2 minutes and 31 seconds. It's going to play it for its entire length and then move on to the next piece of content. So uh, important to note is that duration is typically going to either be set for you, the end user, or it's going to be something that doesn't need a duration set. It's going to know to play it for its entirety and move on. Beneath the duration is the scheduling area. The scheduling area is where you're going to set content up to play over a certain range of time, to play over a certain time of the day, and to play on certain days of the week. Now by default, when you upload a piece of content, that piece of content is valid starting the day it's uploaded through the end of the millennium. So you can see here the start date is 8-5-2016. The end date is 8 5 2099, many, many years from now. In addition, you see the start time is 12 a.m., the beginning of each day, and the end time is 11.59, 59 p.m., the end of each day. So a 24-hour loop playing every day of the week. So this piece of content is wide open, and it's up to you, the end user, to determine if you wanted to make it more restrictive by playing over a certain range of time. So this piece of content should only play during the holidays. So let's say if we wanted to only have it play during the month of December of this year. So to have it start December 1st, I click on the calendar in my start date. And I'm just going to go forward to October, November, December 1st. I'm just going to type in 12-31-2016. And now this piece of content is only going to play from 12-1, December 1st, through 12-31, December 31st, 2016. Now, even if I had that piece of content scheduled in a playlist or down in my channel, right now, because I have it scheduled to only play during the month of December, it's going to sit there waiting like a ticking time bomb for December 1st to hit. When it becomes December 1st, it's going to start playing that piece of content and play it throughout the month until December 31st. When we get to January 1st of 2017, it's going to realize that it's the, the day after it's valid and it's going to stop playing. So it will only play during the time that it's set to play. You don't have to worry about adding it the day that it's supposed to start playing, and you don't have to worry about deleting it the day that it's supposed to stop playing. It will do so automatically. In addition to that, we have the ability to uh, alter our start and end time. So day park content. So think of a convenience store that they have coffee ads in the morning, hot dog ads at noon, and beer ads in the evening, and that they're day parting their content to fit the demographic that's in their, sto in their store or their location at that time of day. And you can do the same here. Now, by default, again, it's designed to play from 12 a.m. to 11.59 p.m., so 24 hours a day. But you could make it more restrictive and say, well, you know what? This should only play from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. every day. And so I'll go to my start time and click on it. And it breaks down here again, so in hours, minutes, and seconds. And so what I want to do is I want to change it from 12 to 2, so 2, and 0, 0 minutes, 0, 0 seconds. Change my a.m. to p.m. And now I'm going to go to my end time. I want it to stop playing at 5 p.m. So I'll go here and I'll change my 11 to 5, 0, 0 minutes, 0, 0 seconds. It's already on p.m. And so we're good to go there. So now this piece of content is only going to play from December 1st through December 31st 
only from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. during that time. And we can even get more restrictive and say, well, this should only play during the week or it should only play during the weekends or it should only play on, let's say, Tuesdays, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So you can see how you can get really specific. Not only can it happen on the individual pieces of content, but you can also do this in playlists as well as multi-zone layouts.